Hi gang. Today we're going to go through Freud's psychosexual theory. It is a birth to death theory. Starts the day you're born, ends the day you die. And of course, there's the picture of our buddy Freud. By the way, he was the first one to come up with a lifespan developmental theory explaining why people behave from birth until death. Yes, there have been investigations into various aspects of growing up at that point. Freud was the first one to look at the entire lifespan of a person. So let's start with the first stage, which is the oral stage, which is babyhood, birth to 18 months-ish, give or take about one and a half. For Freud, he focused on where people received sexual pleasure. And for babies, he said that it felt good when they put things in their mouth. If the idea of sexual pleasure freaks you out, that's fine. Not at all uncommon. Just think of it this way. What Freud is focusing on is the parts of the body that children are mastering. Here, babies, they do put everything in their mouth. In fact, within 15 minutes after being born here in the States, it, presuming a normal healthy delivery, they try to have the baby feed. Because the baby doesn't feed, the baby doesn't live. So the oral stage, everything goes in the mouth. The next stage, which is toddlerhood, which is about 18 months, one and a half to three years, Freud said that children receive pleasure through the elimination of the bladder and the bowel, meaning it feels good to pee and poop, because this is the potty training stage. In reality, it's about controlling your own body, being able to control when you pee, being able to control when you poop. And this is a major accomplishment. You can see from the little boy there on the right, he is very proud of wearing big boy underpants because he is mastering his own body. Being able to pee when you want, being able to poop when you want, not peeing, not pooping, that's controlling your own body. The immature genital stage or the phallic stage, these are the pre-K years. So this is three to six. Children discover that their genitals are different. They discover that boys have penises, girls have vaginas, and it is just a discovering of the differences. At the same time, children are also noticing differences in hair color and hair type. Children are noticing difference in skin color, noticing differences, glasses, no glasses. Um, so it's just a discovery of the differences between human beings. And one of the big differences between men and female men and women, excuse me, are the genitals. Now the latency stage, middle childhood years, this is six years to the onset of puberty, so the elementary school years. This, according to Freud, is not about pleasure in the body, this is about learning your gender roles. Freud says at this stage, girls play with girls in order to learn how to be a girl like the picture there on the left with the girls on the really funky teeter-totter. And boys play with boys in order to learn their roles as a boy in society, which is all the boys over there on that jungle gym. And if you look at a playground, if you drive by a playground at recess behind a school, you're going to discover girls are playing with girls, boys are playing with boys. And that's, for Freud, learning your gender role. Now the last stage, which starts with puberty and does end the day you die, is the mature genital stage, which is, like I said, adolescent to death. This is when you rediscover your genitals and now you want to turn that discovery into a intimate physical relationship. This is where sexual activity becomes involved. Uh, dating becomes involved, marriage and relationships become involved. Um, and again, <laughs> this ends the day that you die. Basically, think of it this way. Once we rediscover our genitals in adolescence, we want to try to share them with someone else until we're dead. I know that probably has a few of you going, uh, thinking over the idea that even your grandparents want to continue to share, but Freud is right. It is something 
that people are interested in sharing their genitals right up until the day they die. So, thank you. Bye.